You already know what time it is. Let's go Kings. Tonight is game five of the first series of the NBA playoffs, and the anticipation is high. It's also crazy. And Sunday's game four on ABC 10 was the most watched first round NBA game in 21 years. And as we are getting ready to light that beam tonight, we have a question for you. What Kings player has surprised you the most this year? Just scan that QR code on your screen. Let us know what you think. But before we get to that, I want to get straight outside to Alicia Machado. She is live right now with all those fans waiting to get in. The Golden One Center has thousands of people filing in for the game. We're about just 30 minutes away from tip-off. How's the energy out there, Alicia? Oh my goodness, Alex, we had a huge rush of fans coming in to get in line, to get inside Golden One Center about half an hour ago, and this has not stopped. Take a look at how many fans there are out here today, coming out here to represent the Beam Team. So much excitement today. Uh, fans are also getting some little uh, free merch right here from the Sacramento Kings. It's these little white basketballs. Just one of the many fun things that you can experience when you come out to a Kings game. But this game is getting ready to tip off in just about half an hour. Fans coming out from near and far. Some people I spoke with driving more than 100 miles just to see the, the team play at home court. Now we know tonight that this game is high anticipated and coming into this we heard the news from De'Aaron Fox that he had a small fracture. We spoke with fans out here about what they think that that will mean for the game. Take a listen. Well I think you know the injury you know we'll see how it goes you know how he plays the first quarter and that'll be really telling tonight how well he plays but you know I'm confident that he's gonna play through it you know it's the playoffs it's game five it's a must win for the Kings you know so He's going to do all he needs to do to uh, uh, take him to the victory. Now we know that tickets are pretty expensive, so fans still have an opportunity to come out here and enjoy the atmosphere with other fans at Section 916. It's an area of L Street that's blocked off for fans to come and watch the game for free on some jumbo televisions. There's also food trucks out there, and I can tell you I am dying to dig in. But out here, right in front of Golden One Center, I want to take you guys back out here with me. I was able to get one of these little Kings basketballs. They are so fun and just another way to enjoy this experience and take a little piece of the NBA playoffs home. But fans that I spoke with out here are confident tonight, Alex, that this team will win game five and get a chance to continue their momentum into the next round of the NBA playoffs. Alex? Awesome, Alicia. Thank you so much. And I want to get over to Kevin John, who is inside the Golden One Center. Kevin, this is a very, very pivotal game. How's everyone been getting ready today? Well, a pivotal game indeed. You could feel the energy of everyone. Thousands of people are coming in right now. We are less than 30 minutes away from tip-off from this pivotal game five between the Kings and the Warriors. And I'm actually gonna bring someone over here who is Sacramento proud, none other than Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg. So Mayor Steinberg, just to see the excitement around Sacramento and this Kings team, what does this mean to you? Yeah, it means everything to me. It means everything to my city. You know, in part because we've waited so long and the fans and the city have been so passionate and loyal and the Kings have been such a big part and we almost lost the Kings of course 10 years ago that to be here 2-2 against the defending champs game five here in the Golden One Center in the heart of our downtown there's no other place I could be tonight um, it's great and whether you're here or watching on television or listening on on the radio it's a big night for Sacramento you know, you mentioned how the Kings almost lost, or Sacramento almost lost the Kings uh, several years back. Um, a lot has been said about the fans, the loyalty of the Kings throughout these 17 long years of this playoff drought. A lot has been said that these are the loudest and most loyal fans in the whole NBA. Can you speak to that? There is no question about it. Through thick and through thin. Look, I was back there in New York City 10 years ago when the NBA had to make a decision whether the Kings would go to Seattle or they would stay here. And there are many reasons why they said yes to Sacramento. But I will tell you this, it would have not happened if the Kings, if Sacramento did not have a reputation for the most loyal, the most boisterous, the most committed fans in the entire country. That's why we're here tonight.
I see you sport a jersey. Do you have a favorite player on the Kings or you like them all? I love them all. I mean, how can you not love De'Aaron Fox? And, and I love Sabonis. And, uh, you know, uh, we got a great team. It's no longer, well, God, wouldn't it be great if we had this piece? Of We've got a great team. And we're up against the champs, Curry and, and Clay. But um, I like the fact we have home court advantage. That's why, you know, coming in third in the West makes a difference. The Warriors were sixth. I think we're going to win this series. And I think it starts tonight. You heard it. Mayor Steinberg said they're going to win the series now. Mayor, I saw you dancing and cutting a rug about 20 minutes ago. Uh, do, do, I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you have any moves for us now? You know, I, I have no moves, <laughs> I, uh, except for this. I'm just excited. <laughs> I mean, you got to dance. You got to move. You got to be happy. You got to smile. This is a great night. So uh, here we go. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Go ah. Kings. Oh. Okay, there you go. He's a dancing mayor, Mayor Steinberg right here. His energy is infectious. Well, I don't know how else to follow that up, but uh, I'll send it back to you, Alex. I'll have much more tonight from Game 5 at 11 o'clock on ABC 10. Kevin, I expect to see you dancing tonight, too. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. And Devin Troopy is in downtown where fans also dancing, rallying at the 916 zone to support the Kings. How are things looking out there, Devin? Alex, the 916 zone starting to fill up. The jumbotrons are on and the line to get in the zone. It stretches all the way out into the intersection on L Street right now. But fans are really looking for those shady spots. Those are going first. And we're here with some longtime King fans. Tell me it's a clean slate. How do you like our odds for tonight? Oh, we have great odds. We're at home. We're about to uh, win this game. Probably go to Golden State, let them get the win so we can come back home and uh, cheer with the Game 7 victory. Yeah, fans would rather win it at home for sure. We've got some younger Kings fam here. What's been your favorite part so far, guys? Um, the beam? Yeah. Yeah, the beam. Yeah. All right, Alex, and I got to take you over here. We got a friend group that is divided. We're going to give it to our Warrior fan first. How confident are you feeling tonight? Oh, I'm feeling very confident. It's a... Uh, it's a three-game series now, you know, we get a fresh start, we get that new opportunity to attack and uh, to hopefully steal home court first. And we're repping some De'Aaron Fox jerseys. How confident are you feeling about your man's performance tonight? I think De'Aaron will realize how, uh, how important this game is for the Kings, not only for the team, but for the fans. And even if De'Aaron isn't 100%, I think Davion will come in. Davion will help him out. He'll keep, he'll keep those point guard minutes in. And... Thank you. That's some expert analysis there from our super fan, Alex, the 916 Zone, alive and well, and starting to heat up, hopefully, like our Sacramento Kings tonight. Alex. Awesome, Devin. Thank you so much.